Here we go then. Heat number 16. Green lights on. Takes her up very quickly indeed. Lingman's going to get there. Here comes Jack Holder. What an effort from Holder. Absolutely fabulous run to the first corner. The Australian hits to the... Uh, hits the... Oh, my goodness gracious me. Lebedev's out of shape there. Thought he was going to run in the back of Jack Holder. Somehow managed to miss him. That's allowed Freddie back into second place. Crikey O'Reilly, that really was very wild indeed. But Jack Holder has stolen the march on the opposition. Oh, Jack Holder, really good. Uh, opening first couple of corners just to get himself around the outside of Freddie Lindgren but a nasty moment at the end of the straight at the end of the first lap as Lebedev's bike just grabs on him and he came through at a million miles now fortunately for him he managed to miss Holder and the gap had just opened up between him and Lindgren but he's got plenty of speed bike working well here comes Lebedev's got more speed than Freddie Lindgren Lindgren elected to go wild Jack Holder's comfortable out in front tell you what Freddie Lindgren hasn't thrown the towel in here one last last round turns three and four in the last lap Holder wins comfortably and I tell you what good effort from Lebedev's considering he very nearly t-boned um, uh, Jack Holder at the end of the back straight opening lap he has recovered brilliantly there to come through in the second place to get the better of Freddie Lingren. Dramatic stuff here in the Marion Rose Arena tonight. Can't take your night, uh, eyes off of it. Breathtaking stuff. Jack Holder, second winner of the night, three points for him. Lebedev's in second place, two points. Freddie Lingren back in third, one for him. And Kim Nielsen, another great night for him, failing to score there. Here's the position after everybody's had four outings. Cabrera leads away on 11. Holder and Dudek on 10, then there's a gap to Quebec on 8, Freddie Lingwin now moving on to 8, Lambert on 7, Dan Bewley on 6, so is Leon Madsen. Look at those riders on 6 points, Vashlik, Smarslik, Madsen and Bewley. Big races to come, that's for sure. Good race this, Jack Holder back to his best. Yeah, I, uh, it was a shocking moment at the end of the straight on the opening lap. We need to see that again. It was a close call into the corner, but Jack Holder, as you say, back to his best. Bike working good there. Lebedev's up the inside. Bike grabs there. I tell you what, he actually does well to get that under control as quickly as he does because he does manage to miss Jack Holder. Unfortunately for him, the gap has opened up with Lindgren deciding to take a uh, quite a wide entry into the corner, but that was a real moment for Lebedev. Uh, if Jack Holder had seen that coming, he'd have been holding his breath. Indeed, and uh, Andre Lebedev somehow recovers here after that uh, shocking incident early on in the race. He keeps his composure. Bike is actually working quite nicely there. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we talk about it a lot, Kelvin. You know, these guys, they, as the night goes on, the track's got slick, the dirt line's gone really wide, almost too far to use. Freddie Lindgren sticks at it, but uh, brave man to do so. But, um, you know, with these brave setups, we see things like what Lebedev's happened there at the end of the straight. You know, the bike just grabs on him. It's because of how the bikes are, it's because of how the setup is, and uh, that was a big moment. Yeah, it was indeed. So Jack Holder on 10 points, comfortably through, looking like a uh, Grand Prix rider for 2025 now. <laughs>